G'day, g'day, welcome back. In this episode, we explore some ancient Australian rainforests one hour from Melbourne, check out a volcano that I never knew existed and make our way down to the Otway National Park. Goes in there somehow. Oh, if we turn off here. Bit of low-lying fog. Yeah, brother. boys. A little turn off. Mate. <laughs> How about what is even happening out here? to the first destination. I don't know if you can actually get any better than this. Like, this is straight bananas. And another reason why I was so bloody keen to get out of Tasmania, not because Tasmania is bad at all, but because we don't have this. Bad, eh? selfie bangers basically I have the camera set up on a tripod and then I have a live view um, coming through to my phone here that way I can see what the composition is looking like uh, and I can also release the shutter from here so yeah it's a good little setup um, I'm awkward as hell in front of the camera so it's always a little bit of a mission but yeah it's a it's an easy way to get whatever you need actually been camping here well at a free campsite just down the road but these are the conditions that we've been waiting for basically we're just after this fog in the mood because it creates so much more atmosphere and drama so when we're looking at our photos we we want something to be a little bit unique and a little bit different and this is what the fog actually adds so we're super stoked with what we got down to the Otways. It's about a three to four hour drive from here, but we're gonna stop off in one location, which is just a little north of Colac. It's this volcano looking place, and on Google Images, it looks okay, nothing amazing. But I kind of think with a little bit of uh, spice in the uh, photography department, it could actually look quite cool. 
So we're going to go check that out first, and yeah, super stoked to uh, go down and start exploring it. Okay, we have just arrived at a volcano. I think it's like a little bit north of Colac. Now let's just have a little look around and see how we go. Not exactly what you think when you think of a volcano, is it? <laughs> it's, it's, uh, yeah. This would require a lot, a lot of Photoshop to make this look good. Maybe, do we, do we set that as a challenge? Oh, Jesus. It's time to get the drone up and see what we can do, but <laughs> haven't got high hopes. But, uh, yeah. Oh, who knows? So we just jumped into the camper and gonna have a little bit of a play with these images in Photoshop and see what kind of magic we can work. Now, first things I wanna do is try and clean up the image. So there's so many trees and cows and all that kind of stuff in here. And I think it kind of just detracts away from the dramatic look that I'm going for. Quickly get rid of those. So onto the next bit where I just wanna make this round volcano section at the front a little bit more prominent. Now the magic happens with the sky Thanks to Photoshop's new sky replacement tool, this is crazy easy. So I'm just gonna go with this one. So save that, send it to Lightroom. What we're gonna try and do now is try and add that drama. We've got our base layers of the sky and then the, the adjustments of the foreground. So let's just see what we can do here. So we're just gonna go through and have a bit of a play with the colors. Try and make things look a little bit more desolate and dramatic. And that's pretty much it. Now that's like a pretty quick, dirty base edit. This is obviously pushed to the extremes. Now, personally, I probably wouldn't post this and I probably wouldn't really use it. But at the same time, it's always nice to see how far you can push things and just try and get a little bit creative with it. Compared to what the location was when we shot it in the middle of the day, bright sunny day, and then we have this moody, dramatic result at the end. I like it and it's, it's always fun to play with this kind of stuff. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this destination. Uh, what we're gonna do now is actually gonna head down to Hopeton Falls. So that's about an hour south from here. Um, and then there's gonna be some other waterfalls and stuff along the way as well. So looking forward to seeing, uh, seeing that, getting back into the rainforest and seeing what it has to offer, I guess. So yeah, let's hit the road, eh? Quick little hot crossy before we head down. Well, two hot crossies. Finishes up Hopeton Falls. Pretty sick to see a little platypus down there doing his thing under the waterfall. So yeah, uh, we were gonna head to Beauchamp Falls and Triplet Falls. Both of those are closed apparently, 
but there is a little redwood forest just five minutes down the road. So we're gonna go check that out now and then we'll head down to the Great Ocean Road, which is about 45 minutes to an hour away. So yeah, let's go check her out. that I'm almost whispering, so I apologize if you can't hear me. <laughs> I feel rude talking loud. Good old foresty action. Always. Come get it. on this lap around Australia have been pretty bloody epic. Now, if you made it this far in the video, firstly, thank you. And secondly, it would mean the world to me if you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Coming up, we have a full camper tour. We head down to the Great Ocean Road for some epic adventures, and then we head to South Australia where we get ourselves into a little bit of mischief once again. <laughs> 